the show just two and a half weeks ago, so it was a little bit of a scramble for me. But uh, yeah, we're here, NAMM 2020, and we've got quite a good lineup for you. Uh, I'll walk you through some of the standard stuff that we have, our usual lineup, but then we've got some new gear as well. So point the camera this way, Raul. We've got over here, we've got um, our M series bases. These are the really beautiful ones, floating wooden bridges. The high spec electronics, passive electronics with high, low, and mid controls on them. Really beautiful finishing on these ones. We've got the production series bases, the ones that we get done out of the factory in India. This one's quite special. It shows off the capability of these bases to be upgraded by putting my tuning system on. This base, as you'll notice, also has its original headstock tuners. So these ones are super cool because artists can buy the lower price point F series base and then at some time when they get a bit more cash in their pocket if they want to upgrade to the tailpiece tuning system, it's literally a five minute mod at the time of a string change. So that's a really great example of having that one on the stand this time around. Moving this way. The Mighty Mini Cabinets. We had these with us last year. Uh, we didn't have an Art Deco one with us last year though, so we've had some requests from players to do some custom stuff with the colors. And I think last year I mentioned that I could do these in any color. I know I mentioned it in the interview a couple weeks ago. I could do them in any color. So we had one player call me up and say, hey, can you do me an Art Deco one? Okay. So we brought that to the show with us. The Mighty Mini Cabs, the Passive of voicing units, the Voicemaster Pro, that's taken that circuit from the M series bases, which has 11 voices, putting it into the box and that expands the circuit out to 30 different voices, all passive, no batteries required. We also do that in the Voicemaster Stage, which is a pedal that four different voices, all passive, no batteries required except to run the LED lights. Um, some of you might remember the little stingers. A 20 inch scale length instrument, bass hardware, bass electronics, tuned in the register of a guitar though. It uses bass strings but shifted in a different position so that we can get a guitar register out of it. So quite a cool, funky instrument. It's been pretty popular too. We've, we've had these at a few shows and they sell pretty well. I guess then the most exciting thing around the mini cabinet range this year is over this side, we've got, we call this one the mini plus. This has a crossover inside of it and has a high frequency horn. Around on the back, we've also got a low cut switch. So it makes it ideal for working with guitars. You want to take out some of the boominess, but also below it is the other new one is the sub mini. The Sub Mini is a fourth order bandpass cabinet it's designed to work from about 400 hertz down. It's really just the bottom, bottom end. If you've got the Sub under the Plus, hit the low cut, take some of that load off of this driver because that one's handling it for you. That stack can take 500 watts. <laughs> it's a crack up. So it's a lot of fun. We've done some neat stuff this year. Design work, carrying on with the existing stuff that we do and, and just having a great time with us. And so I'm just pleased to be here coming to you from NAM 2020. Now remember, if you want to check out more information on the gear, www.stonefieldmusic.com. You can hit us on all the social media channels as well, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. That's all under Stonefield Music also. So check it out, see what we got, see if there's an instrument in there for you.